Okay, so let's take a look at creating this trendy magazine cutout effect in PowerPoint. It's kind of a fun effect. It looks kind of like you cut these objects and people out of a magazine and you were in such a hurry with the scissors that you left a lot of the, uh, the paper artifacts behind. And then also combined with this extreme drop shadow, we get this really nice sense of depth in our slide that I think is a nice change since a lot of the slide designs we see are very flat and have a very flat 2D effect to it. So let's take a look at how we can create this. And I, I actually have a couple examples here. I have this a little bit darker example, and then I actually put it over a lighter uh, background. And I kind of like the lighter background better. I think it just gives a little better sense of the effect and the, of, the, uh, of the 3D depth feel to it. And I actually duplicated a couple objects to also create that effect. But either way, obviously works, and you can use it in a lot of different scenarios. But let's go ahead and just look at creating this effect. We're actually going to learn a couple techniques in this, one of which is a really great technique across a lot of different applications, and that is just removing the background from the images that are on a white background. And then we'll learn to uh, kind of look at the shape tools and the freeform and the scribble tools as a way to create that outline around our object. So the first thing we want to do is just get rid of these backgrounds. So double click an image, select recolor, and set transparent color. Get this little cursor change, and look at that, gone. Double click the farmer, set transparent, boom. I kind of wish that tool would remain active, but not that big of a deal. And there we go. So the next step is at this point is just to create that, that outline effect. And there's a couple different tools we can use, and I'll show you the one that I prefer. I'm actually going to move these guys off the, uh, the slide. Bring that up. Um, so at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and select Insert Shape. I like the scribble tool. It feels a little bit easier to, to, to draw with, but if you uh, like the freeform tool or even the curve tool, they all work because they're all going to create a, uh, a freeform curve around the object, and then you just can uh, uh, select um, whichever method you want to, uh, to complete that path. But the, only, the point is we just want to get this path drawn around this object. So let me zoom in just a little bit here. I'm going to need to be able to see all of the mailbox. Now, a couple things to think about. We don't care about a perfect selection. First of all, we want it to be natural, right? So the, the, the less perfect it looks, the more real it looks. But second is we'll be drawing a vector path around here. So everything that we do will be editable. So we can always go in and modify those points afterwards. So we can reshape it or we can uh, expand it or contract it. I'm just going to go around here. Not so great, but that's the point and let me draw it around okay so there's my shape I'm gonna go ahead and just double click it I want to turn off the outline and I want to fill it with white all right so at this point I can move the mailbox to the front so right click bring to front and then I'll put it over it and I think that looks fine, but let's say I wanted to do a little bit of tweaking. I'm going to bring this uh, white uh, background shape up to the front, and I'm going to move it over the mailbox. Because what I want to do is modify the points a little bit, and if this, this mailbox is on top, I'm going to be really hard to select the, uh, the points from behind. So I'm going to move that up. I'm going to right-click and choose Format Shape. I'm just going to turn the transparency up a little bit. Now I can see underneath it. Right-click on it, choose Edit Points, and check that out. Right, So now I can modify these points. I can bring them in. A lot of cases, I'll delete points. I think deleting them actually gives a little bit more of that jagged feel to it. But essentially, that's the idea. I wanted to show you that just as a way to modify it. When I worked on the farm or the chicken, there was more places that I wanted to touch it up. So let's go ahead and just bring that transparency back and bring it all the way over. And I'll go ahead and bring the mailbox to the front. Okay, and at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and group those. So let's select both. There we go, and group. And now all I need to do is add a nice extreme shadow to it. So right click, format, choose shadow, distance, find out the angle, and then maybe bring the transparency down. All right. And that's it. Pretty simple effect. But once you start combining this, especially like an example like this, where you actually put uh, the various objects on different levels or different layers, it really creates that awesome sense of depth and a nice way to change up your, uh, your slide design.